it is now add commercial ad URL links to my Roku TV channel. When I first started using Videlion, I recorded a video showing people step by step how I did it from beginning to end and I did by doing so it's called Vidillion's Vidillion ads on Roku by Michelle Caesar you look that up on YouTube and you'll find it but then I put together I kept myself organized by category and topic I put this I put this together and I show that in the video and these are all the commercial advertising links I would have what I would have to watch my own video again to produce this information because it's not something you do often not me I knew to organize myself over a year ago because I knew that that time will come that I would need this information at my fingertips because I wouldn't want to go through this again because this was hard and I was learning so what I'm going to do is because the topic is build your very own Roku TV channel it speaks about television I'm going to add Entertainment, humor, gossip, movies, music, television, ads underneath this poster. I'm going to right click on build your, build your very own Roku TV channel. I'm going to scroll down to new ad. It populates. This is, um, this text is only this text only appears in the content editor tree. That's for me. So I'm, I'm going to do that. And you see how we're populated right there. So I know that's an ad and know that it's a commercial ad. Then I'm going to click on select banner, selectable banner. And I happen to use Vidillion. And I like a pre roll. Vidillion chooses what ads show before my video and the ads go into rotation we, I never use these here I'm still learning but I do know I need to add this title again this title okay and here, I, I, because I'm still learning, and most of my ads, and most of the ad URLs I add into my channel, I would put the title in this area. And this area is optional text shown before your video shows, before the ad shows. It's optional text shown while the video ad is buffering before the ad is played. It'll say loading, that's the default setting. I like to give some people something to look at. I happen to like to show off my title. I find it very interesting. You can fill that in with whatever text content you want. That's up to you. Then, I'm gonna go back here going to add this one's entertainment God it's been a long time folks you forget so that's going to rotate commercial advertising speaking about entertainment let me just see something I'm just going to go look at an older one that I did a long time ago. I only have that URL. I have no ad buffering information underneath that, which I happen to like. I find it interesting. To each their own. It's your channel. Ooh. 
Oh, I could display an image too before the ad plays. Oh, that, that's work. You have to create images and, you know, go through the process of saving it to your Amazon bucket and adjusting the color levels. That all comes into play, play there. That's very interesting. Oh, so I only could do one in each. I see. I just learned something more, folks. But that's how that works. Oh, my gosh. So I could add all of these. I can take this, copy it. You're watching me learn on the go. Right click, new add, paste it. The Dillion pre roll. I like to give something people to look at. See, it defaulted loading. Ha! Huh. But I like I like people to read that. And then I'm gonna go back. Oh, see, this is why you do. Because when you do, you learn, you understand. Oh my goodness, I was eliminating my advertising on my channel. Wow. Just wow, folks. So that's how you do that. I'm going to add every one of these categories, every one of these URLs, entertainment, humor, gossip, movies, music, television. I get it. That's how it's done, folks. Enjoy. Don't give up. You just keep learning and learning and learning. It'll all make sense eventually. See you in the next video clip.